Yo guys, Satsu here, and the gaming question today, what we're going to be reviewing and having a little look at, is Devil May Cry 5. Now, uh, this video has come a little bit later than uh, I would have liked. I did actually finish the game last week, after having a full, uh, I'd say a solid week and a bit playthrough of it. Uh, what I would have to report is, I think the game is fucking awesome, man. I mean... Devil May Cry 5 gave me a feeling back, um, I would say, of the reason why I started playing video games. And you know, a bit like when you start watching a Netflix series and you just don't want to put it down. This is exactly what this game did for me. Now, uh, I'm quite familiar with the Devil May Cry series. Uh, I played them all through uh, the various uh, literations uh, on the PlayStation from 1 through to 3. Uh, played four on the Xbox. Um, didn't really play the reboot version, so I can't really comment on that. But this is definitely by far the best one of the series so far. Um, talk a little bit about the characters. Uh, I was really surprised as uh, the new character V in it is just freaking awesome, man. Uh, his skills pff, ridiculous. He's more of a stand back character. He he conjures up uh, creatures that you can sort of send out to do damage uh, and specials and then you can call in the big guy to to drop in and you can actually once you've built his, his skills up and leveled him up you can you can uh, do so much damage with him uh, and some really spectacular moves which just look absolutely sick um, you've also got obviously Dante returning uh, uh, which really the series is based around the early ones and Nero. Uh, Nero um, really struggled a little bit playing with him from the start but once again once you build his skills up uh, he's got some sick moves. Dante as always you can switch between different combination of styles on the fly you know all the different weapons the sword play uh, yeah he just looks sick everything you do in Devil May Cry uh, 5 looks absolutely amazing the graphics are lit. Uh, I actually played the uh, the PC version. Um, runs silky smooth. Uh, I've also seen it playing on the uh, PS4 and the Xbox One. Equally as good. Uh, good thing about the PC, you also have the support for the the gamepad control. So uh, I use that. Uh, so it just really felt like I was playing the console version. Um, On to the story. Uh, the story in this one I think is probably one of the better ones what we've ever seen in a Devil May Cry game. Uh, it sort of wraps up a few different conflicts. I'm not going to go into too much because I don't want to give away any spoilers. But man, all I will say is the ending to this game is... Wow. <laughs> I just can't think of any other words to explain it. I can hand on heart honestly say that... This is probably one of the best games I've ever played by Capcom in recent years. And that's coming from a Street Fighter fan. Um, they just absolutely nailed it with this one. The music, the style, uh, everything it just comes together so well. It's such a polished game. Uh, and I would definitely recommend anyone to play this. Even if you're pretty new to the series, um, obviously you haven't got the full backstory of what's happened in the previous games. There is a little setting what you can actually go into the menu can you, and it gives you a brief sort of uh, update so it brings you right up to speed. But newcomers to the series, I would say have no problem jumping straight into this and just having a ton of fun. Uh, which the Devil May Cry games have always been about. Slashing them up, shooting them. Uh, pulling out ridiculous combos with all sorts of different styles of weaponry. Uh, man, it's just got everything in there. Uh, I was really, really, really impressed. And uh, I did go through it on uh, Devil Hunter mode, which is uh, the hardest of the two when you first start out. So uh, the Sparta mode comes after you've uh, finished the game, uh, and I will be doing a playthrough on that. Uh, as you start, a bit like a new game plus, so you've still got all the weaponry and bits and bobs, what you've obviously picked up through the previous playthrough, so I'm really excited to get back into that. Uh, man, I, I, I just I could just talk about this game forever. The boss fights are always as incredible in Devil May Cry, and you know this one is no exception whatsoever. So Capcom, 
you've absolutely nailed it with this game. You nailed it with Resident Evil 2 Remake. Let's get a good Street Fighter. Come on, guys. I'm praying. I'm praying. Something's going to be big in the pipeline, I think. In the, probably the, I think we're going to get an announcement soon. Uh, I saw my man, who, who I follow quite a lot, and uh, Maximilian. Um, he was chatting in one of his little uh, segments, what he did uh, on, on YouTube the other day, what I noticed. And he too, they were all saying, you know, you, Capcom, the due a AAA title uh, in the fighting game franchise. Cause that's really what they're known for. If you think of Capcom, you think of Ryu, Chun-Li, Ken. They're the sort of games what really spring to mind, even though they've got such a, a great category of games, you know, Monster Hunter World, Devil May Cry, the Resident Evil. I mean, here's praying. Here's praying. But yeah, Devil May Cry, if I was to rate it, personally, in fact, we'll go with what the other people, what I've seen lots of reviewers say, you know, the, the, it's teetering around the 9.5. For me, it's a 10 and beyond. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Can't wait to go back through it again. Um, as I say, probably one of the best games I've played in a long time. Uh, for how it just kept coming back. So, but sure, feel free to check out any other reviews of Devil May Cry. That's my verdict on it. If you haven't played it, go play it. That's all I would suggest, uh, and you'll have a shit ton of fun playing it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Is that Sue? Over and out. In honor of us finally meeting. Um, meeting. I'll take that.